Hey everyone, Greg here. Now, today I've got a really nice, simple, easy appetizer. It's called the Egg Drop Soup. Not only is it really easy to make, but it tastes really nice as well. It's an appetizer and it's super cheap to make. This whole soup's going to cost probably less than like $2. So, let's start making it. It's super easy. I'll show you how it's done. This is Greg's Kitchen. So there's really hardly any ingredients involved in this, just a few eggs. Now I've got some chicken cube stock things here. If you've got some chicken broth or stock, use that. I'm just going to be making some out of the chicken cubes and throwing it in some hot water. I've got some soy sauce, which I may or may not use. A bit of ground ginger, if you've got some fresh stuff, use that. Some cornstarch, now you don't have to use this, but I've got some, so I'm going to use it. And I've already diced up some spring onion, scallion, shallots just for a garnish on top. Anyway, let's start making it. Okay, so I've got myself a saucepan, I'll turn that on, and I've got one litre of boiled water, which I boiled already, just to speed up this process. So that's four cups, or one litre I'm using. Now this is a really simple, light, easy soup as well. It's really healthy for you. So we'll just throw these cubes in. Can you break these ones? Yes. Oh yes, you can. Now I'm using two. You may not need to because depending on your salt content or whatever, um, just use as many as you think you might need. If you want it a little bit saltier, add more. If you want it less saltier, just use one stock cube. But you know me, I like my things a little bit more sodium-ishy because it's flavor, man. And if it hasn't got the salt, it's got no flavor. Well, that's what I reckon anyway, so anyway. And we're just going to bring that to the simmery boil, not too boily, just a sort of a simmer. Okay, so while that's coming to the boil, how about we add some of our extras, like the ginger here, like I said, or did I say that? You can use fresh ginger? I think I did. If you've got fresh ginger, use it about, a, a, yeah, what, yeah, about an inch worth into the fine little slots, use that. I'll just add about a teaspoon's worth of ginger into this. And we'll let that like sort of cook for a little bit. Get those flavors of the ginger all going through that broth, making sure it's turning into what we want. So I'll just give it a quick stir. Oh, no, it's going everywhere. Because I just want to see how salty this is. Hang on, let's see. Mmm, man, that's perfect salt. Now, if it wasn't salty enough, go right ahead and add either a dash of salt or a dash of soy sauce. I'll just add a dash in just so you can see me do it because a lot of you like seeing me do this. That'll do because it was already salty enough. Ah, there we go. <laughs> now, you didn't have to do that, I just did. Okay, so we'll just let that heat up. Come on, it's taking you so long. Maybe I need to turn it up a little bit more. Anyway, it's giving it time for that ginger to dissolve properly. Oh, speaking of dissolving, we need some of this cornstarch. So, we need to dissolve some of this. So we'll grab ourselves a little bowl and we'll scoop out some of this broth. And we need one tablespoon of this cornstarch into this broth to dissolve. Now what this does is thicken the soup up and just give it a, a nicer sort of texture. Just dissolve. Hurry up and dissolve, we ha, it's doing it. <laughs> and now we just return it back into the saucepan and we let that simmer away for a couple of minutes and that'll allow that starch to like evaporate and dissolve properly and get rid of that nasty starchy flavor that it may add if you didn't let it simmer for a couple of minutes. So now while we wait for this corn starch to stop being so starchy, let's get these eggs ready. So depending on how many eggs you want to use in this will depend on how many you use. I'm just throwing in four eggs for demonstration purposes. 
and grab your cornstarch again because we need another teaspoon's worth of this to mix in with the eggs. So we'll add in very carefully a teaspoon's worth. I'm just going to guess the mate what a teaspoon's worth is. And whisk this all together. This will stop the eggs from getting too rubbery when it's cooking in the water. Anyway, I reckon they're ready. So, let's come over here, check the water. It's just simmering, which is just what you want. You don't want it boiling too hard. So now it's time for the egg drop. So grab your whisk, and we need to get this into the water, and we just start stirring it very slowly. And now, we start pouring in the egg very slowly indeed. So we just pour that egg in slowly, stirring it slowly. I did use four eggs, you might want to use less. Totally up to you. We just slowly blend this all together. As soon as that egg hits the water, it's pretty much cooked. So it stays in its own little shape. It makes those great textures. Right, well I think that texture's good enough. I probably only needed three eggs for that. Anyway, we'll just let that simmer for another 30 seconds and that should be done. So use between two and four eggs, depending how eggy you want it. I used about three and that's how eggy it is. Could be too eggy for some or not eggy enough for others. Anyway, let's get some, ladle it into the bowl here. Finish it off with a little scallion-y, spring onion-y stuff on top, just to make it look pretty. And there you have it. Delicious homemade egg drop soup. How healthy does it look? Can't wait to try it, so let's tuck on in for the old egg drop, egg drop soup, soup taste, taste test. test. Now if you didn't think it was peppery enough, grab some white pepper for this and or just sprinkle some over the top. It will make all the difference. Whoa, boy, I just got a nose full of pepper. <laughs> but it smells great and I can't wait to try it. So, let's give it a go. Oh, yum. Oh, that tastes so good. That tastes absolutely delicious. Mmm. It just dissolves in your mouth. Guys, you have to make this Man, oh man, that is some good tucker right there, and I know you guys are gonna love it. It might not look great, but it tastes awesome. If you do make it, I'd love to know what you thought about it, and even post a photo of it on my Facebook page. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed for more by hitting my head down there in the corner. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time right here on Craig's Kitchen. Oh, by the way, it doesn't keep it in the fridge for very long, so eat it straight away. It's delicious. Oh, yeah. This is just beautiful. Mmm! Man, that's good.